when we're doing the T cell, the tan cell position for it manly needs like we do is on centre. Yeah? Finger stops here, top of the collarbone, elbow comes in for the defence and fixed elbow position. That's what we're looking at here for the structure. Yeah? So this is the rigid form of it if you like. The fluid form of it can be from when somebody goes on the outside. So if I was to push down here, you slip underneath, that would be the quickest way for me to defend it. Yeah? So I come out with my tan cell, so my hand is now in line with my shoulder, if not a bit further out. Yeah? So you've got the rigid here on the centre, and then you've got the fluid is when I'm feeling you come around for the hook. I'm going to come up with it, okay? Which is okay because we've come from a low position, trying to come up to a high position, yeah? So from here, let's do that a bit faster. Let's try that a bit faster. That's how it works, okay? I'm not going to do the bong sound because it's coming to behind. Alright, it's quicker for me just to come back up. So that's the way you cancel it. Yeah? But now from the traditional point, if I was here and you come to do a push, so you come to push my chest, that's where my tan cell would be. Yeah? Because it works this area, it covers the rib cage area. Yeah? If you were coming up to my face, punch. Yeah, punch my face. I'd want to do a bu because if I lift my tensile up, the force coming this way would collapse my hand into my face. That's because the bicep muscle pulls the hand back. Yeah? What I need to do from here is rotate the hand which lengthens the bicep muscle that tightens the tricep. Yeah? Which will give it more structure. So to cover something coming to my face, I would do the view. Yeah? Because now this isn't going to collapse. You understand? Because it's forcing outwards. Okay? So if you came in with a hook, I'd want to do a view either here or I'll do that again. Across the armpit. Yeah? So that will control that. If anything was coming towards my chest, I could work on it with a tan cell because that area is stronger because it's going to disperse the energy outwards yeah so if you came to push me on my chest tan cell would work well and that's the effect it would have yeah alternatively if you came to push same again i can always do a pack cell as well it all depends on what you want to cover it but the tan cell would generally cover the rib cage area properly and using sound structure if I start overextending it, it becomes weaker. What I need to do then is rotate my hand. Yeah? Because otherwise the bicep stays half closed and this folds in like a hinge. So if you do a hook, again, and I do that, even if I meet it here, that would just collapse. I wouldn't have the strength because I'm using the wrong muscle. Yeah? Because the bicep, again, like I said, pulls things in. It lifts your hand up to your shoulder, up to your nose. The tricep pushes outwards. Yeah? So, anything coming to the face, view. Okay? If you came from a low position up towards my face, I could do a bong sal. Yeah? If, if I was here, I'd throw a punch to my face. I could do a bong style, so if that hand disappeared through another punch, there's my bu. So in total, I can use bu, bong style, jum style or gan style, whichever way you want to look at it. And then daigan, and back up to tan style. There's always a fuck style there as well, but everything stems from here. So the tan style is best covering the chest area, not overextending up for the face, it'll just collapse and smack you, and smack, you end up smacking yourself, yeah? So for structure purposes, if something's coming forward, tan fine here, yeah? 
But if the powerful hook's coming in, view, that's what I want. Not tansel. This would just collapse and smack me. Yeah? So if you come to the chest, remember the tansel comes from here. Push. Yeah? Push. There's the tansel. In the traditional form. Yeah? That's with the guard. If my hands were here, and you went for a push, let's see, push me into that. That's how the tansel covers. Yeah? Stance into the legs. Okay, so we'll do that again. So from here, hands out. Okay, push. So it leaves you with quite a few options. All right, but never do a hands out to anything coming at the face. You'll just end up getting slapped yourself. All right. Thank you.